And in our matchup tonight, we we'll see the New Jersey Nets going up against the Washington Wizards. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. Now here's Kidd. Greg got to love the matchup tonight in the backcourt. And these fans are in for a treat. Dynamic guards going head to head. Could be one of the more entertaining duels of the year. And so it's the Nets getting on the board first. Pass to Brown. And here is Jordan. Martin gets the rebound. Outside kid. Pass to Martin. Outside Jefferson. Outside for Martin. Five to shoot. Kid against Hughes. Kid, no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Kid against Hughes. There's the pass to Brown. And here are the Nets, fresh from a win against Portland. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. So it's the Wizards now after the basket by New Jersey. Stackhouse, good. Tell you what, these coaches really like it when Stack takes it inside, pounding that paint. The Nets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Outside kid. Fades back. Kwame Brown pulls it in. Wizards have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Kid against Hughes. And Stackhouse throws it down. Savvy dime by Hughes, not sleeping on that chance to set up another guy. Left side kid. Rebounded by Brown. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the deep. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Crown with a screen on kid. Here's Hughes. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Shot clock at three. Over kid. The shot by Hughes, no good. Outside kid. Stackhouse with the steal. Passes it to Hughes. At the elbow, it's Brown. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Kenyon Martin. Boy, just not serviceable at the line, and it is a glaring weakness on the back of Brown's basketball card. The Wizards shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. And the free throw is good, now leading by one.
and Brown drops them both. Here's Kittles. Nothing on the board. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Kid up top. Hughes covering. Martin, the pass to Matumba. Back to Martin. Four on the shot clock. Here's Kid. A shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Just a really good job there of finding the open man by Martin. Very unselfish play. Jordan the pass to Hughes. Jordan a screen on kill. Here's Hughes. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Rodgers checked in for Kidd. And a change for the Wizards. Lose checked in. One forty nine left here in the first quarter. Here's Hughes. And he makes that one. One thirty nine left in the first quarter. Here's Kittles. He had ten points in the win against Portland. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Jefferson. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in this game. Jefferson against Stackhouse. From past the arc, and he's good on the three ball. Stackhouse has got seven points in the game. Yeah, with Stackhouse's ability to attack the rim, that three-point shot is going to usually be there for him. You defend him too close on the perimeter, and you're risking a blow by. Stackhouse against Rodgers. Over Stackhouse, the shot's good from Rodgers. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Hughes kicks to Brown. A baseline J, and the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Lou knows how to get to a spot really smooth in how he operates. Nets trail by five. Here's Kittles. Hasn't made one yet. Matumbo dishes to Jefferson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And that athleticism of Jefferson can be difficult to guard against, which is why he gets fouled. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. He's off on the first. And the athleticism uh, Jefferson possesses, really impressive. A rangy forward who plays with intensity on both ends. The Wizards making a switch here. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for Thomas. Leitner comes in for Brown. Jared Jeffries, he's checked in for Jerry Stackhouse. And it's Jordan in for Larry Hughes. And he ends up missing both free throws. Here's Washington now. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Lou passes to Haywood. Now, here is Jordan. Last time out, he had 14 points. Haywood with a screen on Rodgers. Five on the clock. Lets it go from 11. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Jordan has no problem with being closely guarded because it doesn't bother him in the least. And so it's Washington. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. 
And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Now here's Jordan. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Over Armstrong. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. And this is the time of year teams, Greg, start to wear down a little bit. And we're seeing the first signs of fatigue setting in. Well, it is a long season, Kevin. And it can be hard to keep your focus and drive. But we'll see which one of these teams is still in early season form here tonight. And it's Armstrong missing. Wizards leading by nine. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Right wing. Wizards passing it around. And the rejection by Collins. Armstrong with it. He has yet to score. Hit up top. Outside Williams. Pass to Kidd. Beyond the arc. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Kidd's got his third basket of the night. This is huge for Kidd's confidence. When he's dialed in from deep, this offense is especially dangerous. So timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. Brown is checked in for Washington. Hughes comes in for Lou. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Now Hughes on the wing. Jordan. The Wizards with another miss. And first time out of the game called for New Jersey. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Armstrong's checked in for the Nets. The Wizards also changing it up. Jerry Stackhouse is checked in for Jeffries. And it's Lou in for Jordan. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Lou. Hughes with the screen on Armstrong. Here's Lou. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Kenyon Martin grabs the board. And that's trail by six. Outside kid. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Right block shot. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Wizards have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Brown outside. Here's Stackhouse. And again, Washington, no good. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Kid kicks to Collins. Here is Rogers. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. Stackhouse against Armstrong. Rebound by Armstrong. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. Now the pass to Kidd. Martin with the screen for Kidd. Trying to find Martin. He's got it now. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Look, you've got to foul him hard if you're going to keep Martin from scoring. He's too strong if you don't. And here is Hughes to the left side wing. Here's Lou. It's Brown on the wing. 
Shot clock at five. Brown with the screen on Armstrong. To end the cold streak. Brown, no good. Nets trail by four. Pass to Armstrong. 146 left here in the second. Outside, Mark. New Jersey needs to get off a shot here. No good on the three. Washington leading now by four. Stackhouse with it. Nine points last game out. Lou passes to Stackhouse. They set the pick. Fires the three. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Wizards lead by six. Physical move by Brown to protect the rock and then get the putback to go. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. For the Wizards, Thomas checked in for Leighton, and it's Jeffries in for Lou. <laughs> Wizards on D. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. Outside Jefferson. Plenty of space. And Jason Kidd picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Wizards making a change here. Jordan's checked in. Wizards leading by six. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Martin. Kid dishes to Jefferson. Outside Kid. Pass to Matumbo. Back to Kid. Outside for Martin. Right side Jefferson. Just five on the clock. And here's Kid from the arc. And the Nets miss again. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Yep, that one goes in there. Stackhouse has got nine. Stackhouse, man, you got to respect the scoring ability of Jerry Stackhouse. I mean, he feels like he can get off a shot anytime he wants, and he's right more times than he's not. Outside kid. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Kid's got five points now this quarter. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room. Oh, he gets it to go. Wow. It counts. Wow. What a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Wizards lead by nine. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You know, you look at Jerry Stackhouse, he's been playing really well. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Washington leading now by nine. Hughes kicks to Stackhouse. There's the double team with Martin. Taken away by Kidd. And now New Jersey on the break. Here's Jefferson. Good in the assist to Kidd. Jefferson's got the first basket of the second half here for New Jersey. Well, the Wizards shooting in this game, 45%. Hughes 
And a wide open look for Jordan. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The net shooting 47% pretty solid. Thomas against Kidd. Second shot opportunity. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. Dikembe Mutombo able to work through a tough foul and still get the shot up and down. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. Yeah, guys. I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. The free throw drops for Mutombo. Boy, these are great time for the Lakers, aren't they, Clark? The three-peat Magic Johnson joining the Hall of Fame this summer, but James Worthy still waiting since 2000. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time for James Worthy, but to your earlier point, clearly a banner summer for the Lakers. You think about Magic Johnson, the first ballot, surefire Hall of Famer, riding the wave of a three-peat. Couldn't be any better for the Los Angeles Lakers. Stackhouse, the pass to Thomas. Brown, and finished off by Brown. Brown rising up and throwing it down, going all out. Kicks the kid. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Martin with a screen on Hughes. Here's Kidd. Washington with the rebound. Brown's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Hughes against Kidd. Brown with a screen on Kidd. Hughes, the pass to Brown. Staying aggressive against tough, tight defense. That's how Brown gets the whistle. The Wizards have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Shooting two. Free throw good from Brown. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Nets trail by seven. And he lobs it up toward the rim and finished off by Martin. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And so it's Washington with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Jordan can't get it to go. Nets have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Here's Matumbo. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Matumbo's got five points now this quarter. Jordan kicks to Brown. Pass to Hughes. Back to Brown. A pass to Hughes. Just five to shoot. Over Kidd. Here's Thomas. Banked in off the glass. Thomas got his first points in this one. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. To the paint. Hughes with the steal. Outside for Jordan. Jefferson against Stackhouse. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. 
Now it's a seven-point Wizards lead. Got to do more than this to slow down timeout, Stackhouse timeout. now. He doesn't let tight defense bother. Timeout called the Nets. New Jersey making a switch here. Rodgers is checked in. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Lou, he's checked in for Jordan. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. A tumble up top. He's guarded by Thomas. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Tough situation for the defense inside. With Matumbo's size and strength, it's not easy to guard him cleanly. The Nets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And he makes the first. And Matambo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. And so Matumbo nails both of them. Wizards leading by five. And here is Hughes, passes it to Lou. Hughes with the screen on Jefferson. Down low, Brown. Second chance shot. A rebound by the Nets. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter. Here's Kittles. Still without a basket. Pass to Martin. Six to shoot. Fades away. Rebounded by the Wizards. Brown's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Pass to Hughes. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. An 85% shooter there. And they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. I don't think you Let's really stop. can say enough about the work he's put in and the massive strides he's made in his free throw shooting, guys. I mean, his numbers are way up this year. And that one misses. And Hughes, a very solid player, guys. I mean, an athletic guard who can get hot on occasion. Kittle's shot is good. We've got 123 left to play in the third. Hughes, the pass to Stackhouse. Hughes with the screen on Rodgers. No good from Stackhouse. Nets trail by five. Here is Rodgers. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game, and he banks in the layup. Great dime that time from Jefferson, a swing man who knows how to find his open teammates, too. Stackhouse outside. Drills the three-pointer. Stackhouse has got five points in the quarter. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Kicks it to Jefferson. Outside, Martin. And the pass to Kittles over Hughes. Kittles, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Stackhouse dishes to Brown over Martin. Passes it to Lou. Latrey. Rodgers pulls it in. For New Jersey, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. So far in the game, he's 0 of 2 at the line. And the free throws have been dropping for him at a rate of about 77% on the season. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. That one is off. 
So both teams making some changes here. And he sinks the second. Wizards leading by five. Now here's Jordan. He's got seven. Haywood with a screen on Jefferson. Two on the clock. Got it off in time. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's the Washington Wizards bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We come back right after this. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Nets trail by seven. Pass to Collins. Armstrong with it. Williams kicks to Kidd. Shot clock at six. And the layup falls. Down low, kids' assertiveness makes the difference. I mean, helping them get around the trees, the big fellas in there, and to a shot, that's good work. Here's Lou, left side, Jordan. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Inside, there's Williams, and it goes down two points. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Tipped away. Taken away by Kim. Pass to Armstrong. Down low. Here's Collins. Haywood grabs the board. Haywood's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Lou. Down to five on the shot clock. Tom Bowie's checked in for Collins. Aton Thomas is checked in for Washington. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Jordan. Sweet little floater. So clever with the floater. Man, does Jordan know how to torture defenses. Nets trail by five. Outside kid. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. Washington's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's Jeffries. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Now it's a seven-point Wizards lead. The Nets have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. And there's the pass to Kidd. To the middle. Here's Mutombo. Good D by Thomas. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Thomas is screen on kill. Just five on the clock. A slam dunk by Thomas. Lou putting it right on target for his teammate. Really, that's what a true point guard does. On time, on target. 
Passes to Armstrong. Matumbo sets a screen. Armstrong passes to Matumbo. Pass to Lou. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. They get it back. Thomas, good. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating out, the opposition with those extra possessions. Timeout call, the Nets. Washington making some changes. Kwame Brown, he's checked in for Leighton. Stackhouse comes in for Jared Jeffers. And it's Hughes in for Lou. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some advice for his team. Now, his tone was pretty serious. He said, you guys need to prove you're in this. No one else can do it for you. Time to pour on the gas. We'll see if that fire gets lit, guys. Thanks so much, David. Hughes kicks to Jordan. Wizards passing it around. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. Thomas, no good. Nets trail by 11. Pass to Kidd. To the paint, and they get it, and Matumbo finishes inside. Matumbo's got nine points now in just the second half. The superb basketball IQ of Jason Kidd scanning and surveying the whole floor and then zeroing in on the ready shooter. The pass to Stackhouse. And Thomas has it in the corner. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Thomas got the lead up to 11 now for the Wizards. For the Nets, this one not looking good. Now Kidd. Passes it to Kittles. Takes the three. Washington with the rebound. Thomas got his fifth rebound in this one. Knocked away and out of bounds as New Jersey gains possession. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Wizards. One of the areas that has been critical for them, the second chance points we've seen from them tonight. A, a huge factor in this one, Kevin. The hustle on the offensive glass, the willingness to go after those rebounds, that was key. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. Still two more games upcoming between these teams, so we could have a few more twists and turns down the road. Brown outside. Hughes against Kidd. Brown the pass to Stackhouse. Stackhouse tried to tip it in but couldn't quite get it. And it's desperation time now. Does it matter if it's a two or a three? They need the quickest shot possible. And Washington can just let the clock run down here. Outside Jordan. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to 